Yo, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and welcome to First Try Fridays episode number 15 for Call of Duty World War 2 for those of you unfamiliar with this series. This series I do every single Friday where you guys leave a Call of Duty World War 2 class down below in the comments. You can be as basic or creative with this class as you want. You can pick my weapon, attachments, camos, basic trainings, divisions, change my control sensitivity, change the controller setting, pick the game mode I play, pick the commentary topic, give me a challenge to do whatever you want, however far you want to go, you leave it down below in the comments and you're going to pick one of the classes at random and use it in my very first game of World War II for the day. Then we upload and commentate to that gameplay no matter what. You guys get to see the raw and cut gameplay. Rather, I go 30-0 or 2-29. That's what makes it a fun interactive series to do. So this week in Call of Duty, I made actually a video on Wednesday explaining what is happening this weekend. So I'll refer you to that. I'll put a link in the cards right now. Uh, some big stuff happening in World War II for sure that you don't want to miss out on. But also, if you guys are watching this on Friday, Friday, there is a heroic P08 weapon variant available through an order with Major Howard. So you can pick that up for like another 12 plus hours of time this video goes live. So you can do so. And also, I thought I mentioned in Infinite Warfare this weekend, they're doing a quad feed, which is double keys, double XP, double weapon XP, and double mission team XP globally, which is a really awesome event. And I actually stopped to think if I should actually want to play Infinite Warfare this weekend. But the answer is no, because I have other stuff I have to do. But uh, yeah, that's what's happening just want to touch on it briefly let's get into this week's class and last week you guys absolutely killed it and came through with all the classes instead of having one class we had several like up to 10 different classes for this episode so i thank you guys again let's do it again this week uh for you guys class which i'm about to go over in a second didn't get clicked uh copy and paste from last week it's as simple as that or you can even put like last week's like class in the comment i can go back because there's not that many comments i have to go through now you know or make a new one do whatever you gotta do let's just keep the flow going so for this week the class was suggested by take out for two five three one four who wanted me to try out his favorite class setup this consists of the m19 28 submachine gun i am using the heroic variant because i love the iron sights of this variant but with that uh, comes the grip attachment quick draw attachment and the extended mags attachment we have the right revolver with high caliber in the secondary slot a sticky grenade and a concussion grenade and then the basic training we're using is hustle and the armored division and finally the score streak setups are the uav fighter pilot and the glide bomb and the game mode i could play was at my choice so i decided to play some domination this week and we're playing on the map v2 which is honestly kind of like the nuketown of uh but well not exactly nuketown but it's like the size of nuketown in world war ii you have shipment which is like super small and then v2 is like the size of nuketown it's nice it has a nice little flow to it i like it a lot people don't like it because of the flow of it but i like to play on it i like small maps and stuff like that so with this class overall i'm not going to say my overall stats but we went with a 1.4 kd this week we had some really awesome streaks going and then towards the second half of the match uh some very struggling moments that you guys will recognize so that's what happened for this week's class. Enjoy the gameplay. Again, leave a class you guys didn't for uh, next week so we can keep going on. And let's get into the topic for the remainder of this video. And that is uh, uh, a leaker who goes by the name of Matt Harris, I believe. I don't know exactly what his name is. But this is the guy who leaked uh, Black Ops 4 multiplayer information, how there'll be no campaign, and some other stuff. Uh, in the past as well and this guy has leaked that call of duty uh modern warfare 4 is going to be the call of duty 2019 title yes we're talking about call of duty 2019 when 2018 black ops 4 hasn't even come out yet that that's what we're doing right now um i didn't want to talk about this because of that aspect but i do want to tie in to the idea of call of duty needing to take a break and whether that needs to happen or not and if black ops 4 is a game to do so so that's kind of the overview of what we're going to be talking about so this modern warfare 4 leak came out and this also ties in with some official information that was revealed on the internet and that is the old members of infinity ward who are the people who have developed the modern warfare series uh they're they've gotten back together and supposedly they're working on modern warfare 4 which has people excited because it'll feel like the older modern warfare 2 and call of duty 4 type games and that crew worked on it uh after modern warfare 2 i believe Infinity Ward split and the members that stayed were on the Infinity Ward team that developed Modern Warfare 3, Ghost, and Infinite Warfare, which I thought were good games. And then the other half of that team went to 
start Respawn Entertainment, which were or who were the developers of Titanfall. But earlier this year, Respawn actually was bought out by EA, which is probably why some of them left Respawn or they lost their job at Respawn and had to go somewhere else, which is why they're getting back together at Infinity Ward. So all of that makes sense. So they're probably working on the game and you know, it makes sense that they'd want to work on Modern Warfare 4. It's one of their most popular titles. People would be excited for it. They have the old team back together. It makes sense. But for it to be coming out in 2019, I'm not so sure about that. Maybe, maybe, maybe 2020. The reason is because the game, Infinity Ward's game that they're working on right now could, like, they've been working, they could have been working on it for a maximum of, like, 1.5 years as of now. That's if they started immediately after Infinite Warfare launched, which is probably unlikely. So, them coming back onto this team, is that enough time for them to fully develop Modern Warfare 4 from scratch? Unless there, there's the chance that they already were developing Modern Warfare 4. But, uh, you know, is that enough time to develop the game? I would say no, which kind of brings, you know, this, this, from now on, we're just going to build up points into why I think Call of Duty in 2019 may not be happening at all. Let's just put it like that. I really don't. I didn't, you know, first try Friday's first time commentary. I didn't really put this all together. But um, there was a earlier this year uh, when Eric Hirschberg left or they announced Black Ops 4 or something like that. They said that they had the best three year slate um, coming up for World or for Call of Duty in the next three years, which people imp like um, automatically assume that that's going to be three new games. But I'm wondering if that's the case and brings to the point if, if Call of Duty needs a break. Because I've been watching some of the Black Ops 4 reveal reactions from other people and looking at their opinions, and a lot of people make the point that Call of Duty is no longer huge like it used to be. It's oversaturated. We're getting a game every year, and there's not as much innovation right now. And when they try to push innovation with jet packs and boost packs and things I talk about past my channel people get upset and there's this whole polarized player base and people want different things and you know every game right now feels like yearly dlc which you know is a it's a valid point it makes sense um so people are thinking like you know call of duty needs to take a break like assassin's creed has or something it's gonna be just pummeling the ground until it's nothing uh you know they brought in three developers to speed up the development cycle so they could do different things with different games but a lot of people are thinking we need a break and i'm thinking you know we're not gonna get or we're going to get a break from a, the yearly Call of Duty release cycle, but not from Call of Duty content. And I, I'm saying this because I think that Black Ops 4 is going to be a game to last a while and last for two years, if not one and a half years. Um, I said they could do this with Black Ops 3, and I feel like they're intentionally doing this with Black Ops 4. Like, you look at Black Ops 3... It was a standard game release, and they supported that more than after a year. We were getting new content a year and a half later. We got Zombies Chronicles, which is a whole big DLC. And we're getting updates still up until earlier this week in Black Ops 3. And the game still has a huge player base, um, and that wasn't intended. Now with Black Ops 4, we're having the same hype around the game, but they're like intentionally setting this up for long-term playability. They're saying it's going to have a deep, masterful, replayable multiplayer. Zombies essentially is shaping up to be its own game with three maps on launch in a rumored DLC season pass. And then with that along comes the rumor of there's going to be no season pass in Black Ops 4, so there's going to be free multiplayer updates and DLC so people can play over a long period of time, like Overwatch, which has been out for two years now and still going strong uh it's just these are all indicators for long life saga and then we have battle royale like come on that's that's long life right there so it's like they're intentionally trying to set this up for a long-term game and they also could patch in dlc like say a year from now for next year they could patch in a dlc campaign and it add on to that uh, game's longevity and the lifestyle so it feels like they're adding so much effort into black ops 4 that it could last easily a year and a half two years and then the next call of duty which will be by infinity war could come out in may of next year or uh october of 2020 you know who knows i just feel like they're putting so much effort into this game and in battle royale itself that i don't see it lasting just one year and like how are they gonna carry this battle royale mode into other titles like i feel it's gonna be a stable mode battle royale is gonna be this long-term lifestyle game so then when the next one comes out you're gonna have this game still being you're gonna have an even worse problem of what is right now with people playing all these different individual call of duties and the player base being scattered throughout and people wanting their own different types of games so that's why i think that next year 
Modern Warfare 4 won't be coming. I don't think a Call of Duty will be coming out next year. I'm going to say that right now. One of my bold predictions that, you know, usually end up being right somewhat. So I'm going to make that prediction right now. Uh, uh, next Call of Duty title will come out a year, maybe a year, a year and a half, maybe two years after Black Ops 4 comes out. Because uh, we're going to take that break with Call of Duty and let things settle in. Or on the other hand, they could be stepping up their game and you're like, yeah, yeah we have a bunch of different polarized players. So we're going to have an active futuristic game an active boots on the ground game from the past and an active like jetpack game and we'll have three different games going on people can pick what they want we'll just even saturate the game market more i don't know that's my opinions i didn't do my initial thought justice so we may revisit this topic in the near future but uh i pretty much got what i needed to say off in the amount of time available for this first try so hopefully you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think down below in the comments to any of that um and with that again you know leave your first try friday's comment i don't want to take too long on this conclusion uh like the video dislike if you disliked it subscribe turn the bell notification on check the link down below in the description for awesome merch and ways to support my channel and i'll catch you guys on the next one my name's Skater. peace out